Let's go over some PC water cooling basics. Soft line tubing, which is actually my favorite. Hard line tubing is really nice for showcase builds, but when it comes to day-to-day -day getting in and out of your PC for maintenance, for easy upgrades, just some quick troubleshooting, soft tubing is the way to go. ZMT, zero maintenance tubing, which is this nice thick black tubing, is actually my favorite. In my primary build that I have right over there, it's, it's all ZMT. In my, uh, I have a water-cooled NAS over there, it's all ZMT. Now, some of my showcase builds that I do from time to time, sure, I'll use acrylic hardline tubing, which is really nice. It's my favorite style of hardline tubing over PETG, over glass, and all that stuff. Um, I'll do a separate video if you want to learn more about acrylic. But today, it's all about the ZMT tubing. So, this is actually very easy and quick. One of the things that you'll start with, most likely, is how to maintain your fluid, like where to put the fluid and you may want to use a reservoir that has a pump built into it like this. This is the EK Quantum Kinetic TBE. I'll put a link uh, down below. And uh, this is a, the 200, so 200 milliliters, and you can get taller ones or shorter ones as well. This is actually really nice because, one, this is the, the, uh, the clear, it fell. This is the uh, clear model, and you can actually unscrew these nice and easy, so it's easy to kind of clean out. This thing actually pops out to prevent you know, vortexes, basically the fluid spinning all over the place and then you're getting air inside of the pump, which you want to avoid. And then it also has uh, this ability to have fluid come in from the top as well. So you have this nice little tube so that it prevents all kinds of splashing. You do wanna use these tubes. You don't wanna actually just not have a tube and have fluid come from the top because you'll get splashing and air getting in the fluid and thus, potentially getting into the pump. So these are really nice and easy to clean and maintain. And uh, I've never had any of these like really spill or anything like that because it, it's just solid. And you do have a couple of different ports. You'll have an in and an out in the front here. You'll have another in. A lot of times I like to put a uh, temperature sensor right here on the side because then you can basically monitor the temperature fluid and then adjust your fan curves based on the fluid temperature rather than the CPU temperature or your ambient case internal air temperature or any like weirdness like that. Fluid temperature, case, um, or case fan management, that's the way to go for your fan curves. Now, in order to connect mm, this, you will need this, all right? So where do we get this? So this is part of the uh, EKWB's soft tubing line. So this is their Quantum Torque. And let's see if we open this up. I think I have one already open somewhere. Of course, it's the last one that I looked at. And these are nice because uh, these are actually black. Uh, so it's going to match the black tubing. And all you do is just kind of unscrew this like that. So this is what you're gonna screw into the pump res combo right here. So let's set this aside. And so you'll actually always read your manual so you know like which one is in, which one is out. Not all pump res combos or all pumps will actually have like an arrow for in and an arrow for out. Some of them you just actually have to read the manual. So this will just screw right in here nice and easily. And you can just hand tighten it, that's perfectly fine. Or you can use a tool like this just to kind of give it an extra little oomph, right? And it just has to be taut. It doesn't have to be like all the way cranked or anything like that because you don't want to crack any of this. There's a rubber, um, basically a rubber piece in here. It's an O-ring and it just has to be squeezed enough so fluid's not going to get in it. So then, now that this is here, we have our tubing, right? So there's two ends, like this one already has one on here. But what you want to do for this one is actually slide this on top of it so it's already here, right? Nice and easy. And so then you just want to kind of wiggle this around. And this is a nice thick tube. So this is 10 millimeters inner diameter, 16 millimeters outer diameter. So I like the thickness on these. And then you just kind of push it down and screw it on until it stops turning. And you'll notice it when it stops because it just won't want to really go anywhere. 
and you can actually visually inspect it as well just to make sure that this is pretty much flush against here. So that's on, that's not going anywhere. And now we have our soft tubing into our pump. Nice and easy. And now let's say uh, you made an error in your lines and stuff like that, you wanna take this off. It's pretty simple as well. So it's just as simple as unscrewing this. And I'm gonna show you the easy trick to get this off. You don't wanna just yank it the easy way is just to bend it to the side, nice and easy. And then again, taking this off, you can use one of these tools here, and there you go. So this is a fairly simple thing when it comes to soft line tubing, and it's the same thing for the top as well, no difference whatsoever. You just have to screw it on, and then boom, same thing, all right? So that's about it for this. Easy maintenance, uh, easy to use soft tubing to put it in and out of your pump. And then there's one more tool, one eternity later. So this is an XSPC uh, tool. I have no idea what the real name of it is. I'll try to put a link in it in the bio. But basically if you want to cut these to size, this is the, a great way of doing it because it actually has a nice little groove in here for the tubing, right? And because this is round, you want it to be able to cut nice and round. So it's simple as that, boom, it's cut nice and clean. So you don't have to worry about scissors acting all weird. Uh, so definitely try to use a tool like this, clamps down, I love it. And then my last advice for when it comes to water cooling, specifically with soft tubing, is because this is dark and you can't see inside like clear acrylic tubing or anything like that, uh, you do want to wash these out with distilled water. Now, there's a couple of ways of doing that. You can just get a funnel and start pouring water in here. Perfectly fine. Just, you know, make sure that uh, if there's, there is any like factory gunk in there or dust, if you just have this sitting around, is all washed out. Cause you don't want this getting into like your CPU water block, your GPU water block. You basically want to make sure that all of this is flushed. And even if it's brand new, straight from the factory, you're opening it up, flush it. Also in doing that, when you are actually kind of setting up your loop and uh, getting this all together ready, you do wanna make sure that it's leak tested as well. So you can actually do one nice long loop, kinda of like this, one in, out, one in, in, and then turn it on, you know, with fluid in there, distilled water, and you'll know that, hey, this is leak tested. Or EK does have an actual air pressure tester. You can use that as well, that's perfectly fine. I'm kind of old school, you know, water will eventually find a way. Uh, air, you know, hey, um, it may give you the right gauge, but the vibrations of the pump running, the vibrations of the fluid going through the system, that's going to be a little more reliable in my opinion. So with that, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. And uh, that's about it for soft line tubing.